Hello my gorgeous Taurus, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling wonderful. I really hope that the week has just been very kind and generous for all of you. So Taurus, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let me clear the deck for you. Taurus, for this week's reading, um, I want to talk about a topic <laughs> that I haven't really explored, but I felt very guided to with my spirit team. I always do like a pre-meditation at the start of the week about some topics to explore. And of course, so for this week, it's going to be, um, of course, of the romantic nature. Who is watching you from afar? Like, in other words, who's keeping tabs on you? Who's spying on you? What's their agenda? What's their end goal? And will they forever be watching you or will they actually take action? So who this person is can be someone new coming into your life. It could be someone from the present, someone from your recent past, and for some of you from the deeper part of your past. So let's, let's find out who this is. Is there anyone watching you? And also happy announcement, Taurus. In case you missed it last week, I do believe I actually announced it, but I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll say it again. Um, Gigi and I will be launching our official website in the next short weeks. And we're going to have a, a ton of you know resources, just fun things there to share for you. And we will also be uploading our exclusive, and it's only by us, it's taught by us, the Master, ta master Tarot Course. And you'll be able to see my face for the first time as opposed to here in YouTube. I just want to focus on the cards and just kind of like really get straight into it. But in the, the course, it's 100% online, self-paced, lifetime access. There's also workbooks that you can print, download and have that as a good resource for you. Um, and I'll be really going in depth about minor arcanas, major arcanas, um, court cards, tips and tricks that I personally use after all these years. And I'll also be separating fact from fiction, Taurus, because there is a lot of misinformation out there. And that mi misinformation does scare a lot of people. So I'm going to set the record straight. Um, so even though it's going to be intense, it's going to be fun as well. So there we go. When that is all live, it's uploaded and it's ready to go. I'm just going to do one more. I will definitely be announcing it in the coming videos for you, Taurus, but also on the community page as well. And we'll also be with that course. There will be an early bird special um, for those that do wish to learn tarot for yourself or perhaps, you know, give a, a reading to your friends and family. And, we're, and in the future, we'll be uploading um, other courses as well, especially for business. So let's do this, Taurus. Five more, four more. Here we go. And the last one, please, for Taurus. I usually find out pretty early who this person is. So let's zone in. Bottom of the deck for you. We have you. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Someone is watching you. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Does not matter your gender, but that is you right there. And I absolutely love your energy here. Super nurturing, ambitious. You've got a good head on your shoulders. People come to you for advice for guidance, they feel safe around you. So for some of you, this can be represent the mother, you know, the nurturing mother figure here as well. Just really good with business, finances, you know, you're the go-to person, but someone is watching you from afar, but they're admiring you from afar. Wow, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, a passionate new start. Someone is looking at you thinking, you know what? I want a new start. I'm ambitious just like Taurus and I feel a lot of passion towards Taurus. This is someone that has been thinking very long and hard about this. We've got the Hermit. That is the wise sage. It's ruled by Virgo. And this is someone that may be returning into your life after a very long time of not talking to each other. And what are they doing? They're casting light back into this situation. This person has grown up. Time apart was necessary here. Strength card. Leo energy. This person has been actively holding back. It doesn't give them any pleasure. It's not fun, but they're only doing it here because they've been kind of mastering the plan here, their emotions, controlling their emotions, building up their confidence, their bravery, their self-esteem, and also seeing, you know, that, you know, that they're also worthy here of approaching you. But this does speak of unconditional love here as well. Yeah, you're not talking to this person. I think it's been a while. We have the four of swords, Libra energy. 
Now, a lot of people debated, is this person dead? No, this person's not dead. This person is sleeping, they're resting. In fact, they're overly thinking about you so much that this card is highly linked to mental fatigue, mental exhaustion, but it's the number four. So they're planning, they're gathering their thoughts about what to say to you because the past between the both of you has not been easy. 10 of wands. Sagittarius energy, it's the card of burdens. Each single one there that has forced your person to kind of go into a bit of fetal position represents a lesson, a challenge, an experience, a loss, something with you that they have learned from. They wanna drop the ones that rolls over to the ace. Okay, there may have been a big falling out here between the both of you, but I feel that this was your person or else why do all of this like why return and say listen i want a new chance i've been thinking a lot about this so i'll put all the cards down first and i'll explain as we go along so the current energy between the both of you the potential energies for you and this person is judgment scorpio energy number 20 so it's two duality choices this is bringing something back to life it's resurrection resurrection <laughs> sorry i almost said something else resurrection <laughs> God, I'm such a child. Um, and it's, of course, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes where both of you, especially your person, have had major epiphanies, big changes in life, an internal shift here. So I am seeing that there is a possible energy here of coming back together. Let's talk about you. How do you view this person? You got the best card, my favorite card. And I'll be explaining this as to why it's my favorite card um, in the online Master Tarot course. So, mm interesting you got the happiest card and your person um with the ten of wands got like literally the most stressful card of burdens um in the deck so what's in store for you pretty soon is pure joy bliss blessings and illumination we can see the rays of the sun now are blessing this so it's going to be a very very happy reconciliation here their actions their words their revelations whatever they confess and how with the wise sage now they've learned lessons here to not repeat them again but the way they cast light back into this situation i don't care where the sun has landed the fact that it's on your position in your house this is going to be a happy outcome let's talk about your person how do they see you feel think about you and it's you we've got the empress regardless of your gender we've got libra but we've got very strong taurus energy here your person wants to what give birth to this situation once more the empress is all the queens wrapped up into one and what does the empress do they bless the situation it's a cornucopia here of blessed opportunities you've just started with major arcanas and not just any major arcanas powerful ones positive ones what are they planning behind the scenes wow the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces out of all the four knights this is the most romantic night. It comes with an apology. It comes with reconciliation. And remember the Fab Four. So every time you see a night, whether it is with you know watching this channel, it's with me or Gigi or any other reader, think of the Fantastic Four with the nights, messages, changes, offers, transitions in the form of romance here to re-spark that romance now. They want you back, Taurus. Enough spying. It's like, I got to do something. So they're going to make that judgment call and so will you. Now, the beating heart of your reading, really important because the beating heart of the reading affects all the other cards and can represent mutual energies of what you want and what your person wants. What is it? It's you. Oh my God, Taurus, we can end the reading right here, but I won't because I absolutely love reading your like super boss energy. I feel like you're the original boss in um, tarot. That's you. The Hierophant is exclusively represented by Taurus. This is commitment. This is marriage. It's doing the right thing here. For some of you, even if it means having couples counseling or, you know, talking to a spiritual counselor, pastor, for example, a priest, it does not matter. This is like long term investment and that's what's going to make you happy. This is what you both want. You both want to recommit to each other. So let's talk about your person. Um, what do they want? What is it that they don't want? What are they harboring? Let's find out everything. Another major arcana, you got the high priestess Pisces energy. So it's my quiet card. You pretty much don't have to do much. Now in traditional tarot, the high priestess has the book or the scroll closed, but look at this, it's open. And we've got the barn owl right there, which means wisdom and experience. Now your person realizes I need to step up. No more lying, no more secrets, no more hurting Taurus, right? 
And because you've got the, the rays of the sun there, which offers illumination, they're going to confess everything to you. I want you back. I want to commit to you. I'm sorry. Let's reconcile. I've been watching you. Oof, they haven't told anyone about this though, which is not really a bad thing. Now, let's talk here about for you. Hopes, wishes, and do you have any concerns? Another major arcana. Oh my God. This is something for you to know. Very good for education here. Knowledge is power. The more majors we see, two things. The more this is actually going to be speeding up. It's going to happen sooner rather than later, especially judgment, because judgment does speed up the pace of the cards. And you have all major arcanas except here for what your person is planning behind the scenes. And another... Uh, symbolic meaning of so many majors is that your spirit team and your person's spirit team are working very hard behind the scenes to make sure you come back together so we've got the empress with commitment and the emperor so you literally are being represented as the ultimate couple the power couple this is like the couple everybody wants to be even if it's same sex relationship the divine masculine and all the kings wrapped up into one your person is going to step up take big bold strategic moves big actions here to impress you and yes a concern could be well what about their attitude what about their ego here my way or the highway the stubbornness of the emperor is pretty it's a bit turn offy you could say but it's not going to stop both of you coming back together you are each i'm just going to say this right now you've got the empress and the emperor sandwiched in the middle is the hierophant which is you um very soon we're either going to be committed engaged or married i'm just going to say it in the near future what's going to happen this is in line with you yep it's time to come together with the seven of cups scorpio energy make a plan both of you come back down to earth ground yourselves now no more fantasizing of what if this or what if that and we're going to make a decision on how to move forward because I feel like this person's return from spying and watching you to finally coming back and there's a lot of movement and action. It's like, okay, what do we do now? How do we move forward as a team? What's going to happen? Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. I wouldn't take this too, how could I say this? too much as in literal because i do feel here that your person yes they were probably not honest with you in the past they may have even lied to you or withheld some pretty important information in the past that wouldn't have been excellent it wouldn't have been ideal for you to know but lesson learned right that's why we have judgment here and we also have the hermit so your person has changed they've evolved for the better what i'm seeing here also is i feel that this commitment this relationship is going to take off and both of you are going to be quite secret about it because the swords are pointing down remember if it's pointing up it's open honest communication the fact that it's down i think both of you are not going to be telling a lot of people now why do i say that maybe there are people against it maybe people on your person's end are jealous of you and that's the thing we don't want those people to know everything about us until we're more established so not only is your person going to redeem themselves for not being honest because that is their cross to bear we can see that there with the ten of wands a lot of regret but i feel that there's not a lot of people around you taurus and people around your person that are happy for you they could be jealous intimidated i want what taurus has why does taurus get to have a happy ending that's pretty toxic um mentality here so it's almost like how do we go about this we've got options let's not tell anyone until we're more established so i think that's actually very smart sometimes the less people know the better but i have a feeling taurus you already know that split the deck there you are again so queen of pentacles there is commitment this is going to be stronger it's going to be better than ever Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles, we're getting the same cards. Here they come, wearing their heart on their sleeve because this person loves you. There we go. One more. Oh, they're definitely secretly watching you. Whatever falling out or disagreement, I do feel this was more on your person's end, not you. They want to rectify it. That's why they're stepping up here with boss energy because you've got boss energy. They're going to match you. How beautiful is that? So you're up here, right? You don't want to come down. No, no. This person's going to meet you all the way up there. That's beautiful. Look at these cards. Like, wow. Four more. Three more. Two more. Whoop. 
<laughs> Look what the card that came out, the Knight of Cups again. So you can definitely be sure that this person is not only going to apologize. I'm hearing sorry that I took so long to come back. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry that I ended this. Sorry that I took so long because this is the Knight of Pentacles. It's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It is the slowest moving night, but it's my favorite night because look at that. They're announcing their arrival. Remember, messages, changes, offers, transitions of the solid kind, right? Something of value, something promising. This is deep commitment here. Page of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. That's the student card. Both of you have learned massive lessons, especially a person to not take you for granted. So it, you can definitely expect like small to medium offers here. And it's perhaps only because your, your person's testing the waters here. But boy, have they learned their lesson. Here they come to tell you the truth, Ace of Swords. And they haven't done it yet because the sword, the blade is actually pointing down. So they want a new beginning here with you and they're prepared to fight for you because that nine of wands, Sagittarius energy is the wounded soldier. That's the wounded warrior and they never, ever, ever give up. And what are they going to do? Take action with the king of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius and Sagittarius energy. And look at the cards that they ultimately want. The 10 of cups, Pisces energy, reconciliation and the three of cups, cancer energy, more reconciliation. They just want you and only you. I'm going to tell you, it's going to work out with that four of wands, Aries energy. Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is going to be better than ever. Judgment, please, is clarified by the queen of wands. So we had the king of wands and now we've got the queen of wands. They're going to be making that judgment call. I like the queen of wands just like the king of wands because not all kings and queens take action, but they do. Regardless of their gender or their star sign, this person is going to be the first to sit up. They're going to put their hand up, say, I'm going to take control of this situation because you can see that they're almost reaching out to you. Let's talk about you. Uh, Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. You've been missing this person, pining for them, longing for them. If you feel even just emotionally depressed that this is done and it's dusted, it's over, that ship has sailed. The sun is going to prove you wrong and that's going to be a good way to prove you wrong. We're going to be snapping out of this chin up because um, there is happiness coming your way and it's all because of action from your person. I see that you miss them. It hurts. That's going to be a thing of the past. Your person is obviously seeing you as the empress. They want to give birth to this once more. What else do they want to do? Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, more apologies. This represents a budding romance where we start small again. We start from the ground up, but this time the foundation is a lot more firmer. It's more secure. It's more promising, right? Messages that are fueled by love, backed by emotions. And here they come with the Knight of Cups and the Moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. So you might receive possibly some movement, some indications, some signs, messages, phone calls, emails, text messages, DMs, possibly within the next full moon. It's going to be at night. And I'm also hearing it's going to be very late at night, definitely past like 11, 1130, well into the night. And yes, your person has their own internal fears and anxieties because they really don't know, can this really work? Can Taurus forgive me? And will they ever see me in the same way ever again? Will they ever love and respect me as much as I love and respect them? But the intuition is guiding them. Take action. The Hierophant, please, is clarified by Temperance. Sagittarius energy. I like this card. It's the complete opposite of the devil. And it does speak here that for this to really work, this is going to be a team effort here. That both of you meet in the middle. We're not going to keep digging up the past. We learned from the past. We're moving on from it. And we've only got peace, balance, harmony, patience, moderation, and taking this one day at a time beautiful and there's a lot of healing there the high priestess please is clarified by the ten of pentacles that's what your person secretly wants with you or at least they want it all over again the ten of pentacles is virgo energy that's having it all with you the family the children not just a house a home the dog the cat everything because it's almost like with you they know that they feel emotionally abundant here the emperor please is clarified by you again there you, you keep coming up in the reading even though this is your reading they're thinking about you a lot in fact on it they're not thinking of anyone else and the fact that we do have two queens there might have been a third party situation it doesn't have to be infidelity even though sometimes the moon can represent a secret romance on the side maybe you were the third party they had a third party doesn't always have to be infidelity right 
But I do feel here that there are a lot of people very intimidated and jealous by you, Taurus. And sometimes, not always, the Queen of Wands can produce a lot of drama, right? So it's like they influence your person's mind. Why are you with Taurus? They're only after you because of this. When really, if someone were to really understand Taurus, you're like, as I said, true boss energy. You can create an empire. You can create money. You're resourceful. You come up with solutions and you're faithful and you're grounded. Like to have Taurus in your life is a major blessing. So this person's very jealous, super jealous of you, but they're still kind of, they're making waves towards you. The seven of cups is clarified by the four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. There you are again, cool, calm and collected, but don't poke the bull because that's what you're represented as, right? I can see here that both of you have really not let each other go. Now, for some of you, yes, we may still be clinging on to the past, especially if your person ended this, or even if you ended it, you went your separate ways and it was very unfair. It hurts more holding on than letting go. I know it's easy for me to say that, but now you will have the choice here since both of you, this is not just you, you're still holding on to each other here. And I feel that you may progress secretly with this person. Yeah, see, look what the person's doing. Shh. Let's do it. Let's go together. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Keep it away from the devil. Capricorn energy. I think it's that third party. That could be a friend. Could be adult children as well. I've seen it before. It's sad. It could be family, parents, friends, the ex. One more, please, for the outcome. I think. Ooh. All right. We got two. It's going to work out. It is going to work out. you got the Four of Wands, Reconciliation, Aries Energy. That is beautiful. Look at this. We start with the Queen of Pentacles. We end with the King of Pentacles. That's your perfect match. And here they come. The Eight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. That's the second fastest moving energy in the deck. So whether your person is near, interstate, or far away, here they come to get you. Cupid's arrow, love messages, things are going to start moving very fast here. But both of you are going to agree to keep this under wraps here from that devil. But look at that, it's like, shh, we're not going to be single much more longer. Don't tell anyone. Here they come, look at this. So it's like, I, I knew that both of you can't let each other go because there you are, there's your person sandwiched in the middle. It's like, yep, we're still holding on to each other. They're going to let you know. Things are going to move very, very fast, Taurus. So are they spying on you? Yes. And you know who this person is because you know their situation and they know your situation. Are they going to take action? Oh, yes, they will. Pretty fast. And with the knights, remember, all knights are about the Fab Four. Messages, changes, offers, transition, something solid, something of the romantic kind. And look at that. How beautiful is that? We're celebrating coming back together with that Four of Wands. You are home. Your heart is their home. And their heart is your home. This is beautiful, Taurus. This is going to be better than ever. And that person that's moping around, that's just jealous of you, that is their problem. And what I love is that they're not here in the outcome and in the near future. In fact, I think it's smart here. Um, the less we talk about the relationship, the better. Just until it's very established, like when it's like this table here. Solid. Well done, Taurus. I will see you next week, next Wednesday. Brand new reading, fresh new topic. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday. And in fact, Gigi's reading has been uploaded already. She's talking about your mega big major predictions from now until the end of the year for all areas of your life. So from now until the last day of 2023, that's going to be exciting. I'm actually going to check it out myself. Remember, you're always in control. You are the original boss. The original OG, right? As people say now, I need to catch up. All right. Power to you, Taurus. Take care. Bye.